It's time for my two cents. Dear Grandma, I miss you. This is a tough one to talk about. An incredible pain so many of us have felt, losing a loved one suddenly and unexpectedly. May 5th marked what would have been my beloved grandmother's 89th birthday. Four years ago, it was peak COVID. I had a five month old son, my grandma's first great grandchild. Because of the pandemic, we hadn't been able to fly him to St. Louis to visit her. So we relied on phone calls and planned a trip for the fall when she could hold him in her arms, finally. That visit never happened. On June 8th, 2020, she died. Her heart just stopped. God called her home. No warning, no goodbye. Time is supposed to heal wounds, but I still feel a breathless, stomach-churning sensation thinking about the unfairness of the loss, the robbed moments, the unmade memories. John Hopkins University acknowledges sudden loss leaves survivors shocked and confused. The grief process can take several years. Here's the soul-crushing yet somewhat healing truth about loss. It's the realization there is not a single thing we can do to change it. So how do we move forward without forgetting? For me, it's going to tea with my mom on my grandma's birthday every year. It's smiling when I cross paths with a cardinal, her favorite bird. It's showing my children her picture, telling them stories, and teaching them her favorite prayer. It's making sure we remember she is always with us. If you too are coping with a loss, your feelings are valid no matter how long you've been mourning. There is no set time frame for grief. There is also no time like the present to allow ourselves to heal.